going to do a little shave for you. Hopefully it will have some information that will be worth your time. Today we are mid-shave. I am putting a little bit more soap on my brush. I probably added a little too much water when I did it the first time, so this is what this one looks like. This is Midnight Stag from Chiseled Face. And um, I've shaved with it one time before, very happy with the results. Um, I just mixed together this bowl of lather um, and it looks good. I wanted it to be a little thicker. I wanted it to... Uh, it, it looks nice but I just wanted it to be a little more custardy and kind of more insulative on my face. So this may be the most lather I've ever mixed up because I've got my first first lather and then a little bit more. <laughs> yeah. It's one of those things where I'm having trouble containing it. We'll just see. I have, and this is a, this is my first chance to actually come in with more soap on the brush after I've already mixed up a a lather so we'll just kind of see what happens together I have no idea how long it's going to take now yeah see it's it's a very light lather already I wanted it to be a little bit more custardy I don't know if this just kind of adding more soap to it on the brush is going to give me that or not may take too long to integrate the extra soap. If you've got an inexpensive soap, shoot, it might be better just to uh, pour all of your, all the soap in the bowl. Uh, just pour it out. Start over. Make sure you don't put too much water in there. I'm just going to go back and forth up here at the top of the bowl just to kind of let that other part exist without having to stir it up all the time. We'll see if that does anything. <laughs> this is hilarious. I have not. And it's not really getting any thicker. So we'll just... I think we'll abandon that project. It's definitely plentiful. Mixed up a great batch of it last night. And when I put it on my face, it just it, it felt thick. I was super happy about that. Um, it, it felt like it was going to protect, lubricate, and all those things it's supposed to do. So, tell you what, with my three passes and a touch-up that I'm likely to do today, I am going to have a ton of lather to do it with. I won't have to worry about wasting any lather. So, the Midnight Stag, it's got... Um, I've got another video I just made last night when it was my first run with it. I like the fragrance. Very manly. My first impression of it from the jar was a, uh, a, a can of freshly opened tennis balls. There may be some rubber notes in there. Didn't say there was. But I think I did smell the cedar, the motor oil, Maybe a little bit of gasoline, uh, leather, Russian leather. Now I don't, I smell leather. I don't know what Russian leather is supposed to smell like, but I smelled 
it's not leather. Uh, there's some hops in there, they say as well. Uh, a couple of the fragrances, they had to put in synthetic uh, elements for them to simulate the smells because it, it would messed up the formulation to actually have the, the real item in there. I can't remember if the hops was one of those. All right, looking good. Okay, so I did not, by, by reloading my brush, I did not really thicken up my lather too much. Maybe a little bit, maybe worth it though, might be enough. Um, when I shaved with this um, chiseled face here, when I shaved with this last night, the uh, the smell was much lighter in the bowl than it was in the uh, in, uh, than it was in the jar, and so um, during the course of my shave, I actually forgot about the fragrance, about paying attention to the fragrance, um, and so that to me that says it's not very strong. First time I tried Taylor of Old Bond Street sandalwood. I smelled that on me for hours after I tried it and it was not pleasant for me. I don't like that smell. It's too floral and detergenty. Oh, detergent. That's exactly what it smells like. Truck stop hand soap. That's my perspective. A lot of people love it. Very popular. Um, with a hint of sandalwood is, is how I interpreted that fragrance. Um, there are other ones that really nail the sandalwood. Uh, I like it. I like Peraza Red and uh, Lather and Wood, their, their uh, sandalwood fragrance is terrific in my opinion. Um, uh, so, uh, but last night I didn't really keep noticing the smell. Later on, after I walked out of the bathroom here and came back in, I still smelled it, so I bet my nose had just kind of gotten used to it. It's probably what happens in many cases. Um, the usual products, Nivea for after the shave, in case we get any bleeders, a block of alum, and uh, I just found out that this the water here is uh, not very hard, it's fairly soft, which is why I was able to whip together a pretty good lather. At home I use um, distilled water to make sure because my water is pretty hard. Um, but the, uh, oh, and also familiar to me is this um, Badger Brush um, Silver Tip from uh, Whipped Dog. This is a 24 millimeter. I like it. Black resin handle. New, new to me is this. Open comb, Parker. This is my first open comb razor, and uh, you can see the. It almost looks jeweled because of the facets on the on the little bands there. To me, it almost looks too fancy. Uh, lots of grip, lots of grip on there with the checking got Parker notes to it. Um, it is a three-piece. Um, the handle, the bottom part of the head, and the top part of the head. I do have a blade loaded in, which is a Rapira. My second time using the Rapira. This is the Rapira Swedish Steel. Stainless Swedish Steel, something like that. And uh, it gave me a Good shave last night. I was happy with it, but it did take kind of four passes, uh, three normal passes, and two attempts at this area to get troll spot hairs. And uh, I hope to find a razor and a blade combination that makes it so I don't have to work quite so hard to get that, that troll area. Um, now the good thing is it did not cause uh, irritation. Um, even with so many passes and I had to do a couple of cross grain passes um, to, to end up getting and I did get him so that's good uh, I did end up with a great shave uh, but it just took work and I'm hoping to find a better uh, I think persona 
definitely is uh, the blade where I maybe even only had to do two passes in a touch up. So, uh, uh, so we'll see. I uh, had not read anything about the Rapira blades before that shave, and then last night I spent some time and read up on it. Um, I was asking, um, on, uh, I was doing some Googling, just show you the blade, and uh, I was doing some Googling on it. So this is a super stainless steel. Don't know what those letters mean. Um, and apparently there is a Platinum Lux version uh, uh, variation uh, from this company. A lot of people seem to like them. Um, and then some people say they they don't at all. But the opinions in general seem pretty good. And the funny thing was, on the Badger and Blade forum thread that I had found about comparing these two, there were some people that said that one, this was comparing the stainless Swedish speed steel or whatever it is, with the Platinum Lux. Some people said that they, they thought one was uh, a little duller than the other, but it was smoother. Um, and, uh, and that one was uh, super sharp and the other one was junk. But then two posts later, a guy would say the exact opposite, that that one was super sharp and the other one was junk. Um, and uh, one of them made the assertion that it was sharp, it was sharp, not too sharp, but it was smoother. Um, and I guess that's how, how they were phrasing the fact that it didn't cause irritation. Um, but I, I want something that doesn't have to make me work so much. One of the pretty people was saying, that, hey, it's, it's good that you have to work so, so much on your face with it because it's, uh, it's not going to cause you irritation. Um, and no matter how many times you go, you're not going to cut yourself. So maybe it's a good starter blade. I don't really know how I feel about that yet. I, I'd rather do less passes, have a sharper blade, and just learn to control it better. But we'll see. This, so this is my second use of that blade. Uh, my first use in an open comb razor. Uh, I also watched a Michael Friedberg video where he was using his normal angle at about like this when he shaved with, it, with this the first time and he got a horrible sh uh, shave with a lot of irritation and then he had some people write back to him and tell him that this blade act this razor actually uses a much wider angle he did a, a shave with that angle had much better success with it so it was great to see his feedback on that so i'm you know what just for grins i'm going to try it both ways maybe this cheek over here i'll do my normal method of starting parallel and then waiting until it cuts uh, and then the other one, I'll do more of a 45 or something uh, angle. So now, let's take this double lather and get it ready. A little water on the face. I haven't added any kind of pre-shave routine not very thick but I didn't grab a whole lot of it I have an oily skin type and so I wonder if that caught me well, maybe I have to uh, I should start including some type of Pre-shave because of that oil. Sometimes it's very handy. My skin just doesn't get dry. But sometimes it's a bother. Doesn't feel as insulative as the uh, thicker mix I used last night. Get some of that. Spread it around. Spread the love. All right. Notice my bathroom fan was still going, so took that off. There we go. It's starting to feel a little feel a little thick now. I'll take that. Uh, when I was 
was first buying, choosing a razor, I read about how the open comb was supposed to be more aggressive, more for guys who, guys who often shaved with thick beards, things like that. So I stayed away because I didn't need anything aggressive at that time. But I've started to hear a few people say that it's not, that's a misconception. Yeah, that is a, a very rough shave. Great grip on the handle though. Also, some are saying that uh, uh, it's uh, it can be a better shave, uh, especially for new folks, because the open comb allows some of the cream to stay on the face. Instead of that safety bar sweeping it all away before the blade gets to it. Um, yeah, here let's take a look at the, uh, you can see the blade edge and you can see the uh, the comb there. So that was that side. Now we'll go for a wider angle on the other side. Ah, that is smoother. Much smoother. I'll look forward to seeing how the uh, how it feels. Okay, this side over here, big angle. Right now I'm going with the green. And who knows, I'm going to guess that a blade that works well for you in an open comb may behave totally different. Okay, small angle over here. Let's see, get the direction right here. I guess a blade is going to do different, especially from an open comb to a closed comb razor. Alright, let's get down there and feel as we rinse. This was definitely more irritated, but it doesn't feel too irritated though. This is the trouble spot right here that I struggle with, so I'm definitely not going to use the, uh, I'm going to use the least irritating angle when I get there uh, this next time. Hmm. All right, let's see now. I got plenty of lather for the second pass, I think. Face feels good. No irritation my mildly sensitive skin. It's not too sensitive, but it is a little sensitive. Okay, my little trouble spot. I'll put a little thick bit there to remind me about that. Alright. 
I'm just going to treat the rest of the time to the wide angle or whatever angle feels the smoothest. We'll just see what happens. Uh, cross grain. Right here, this direction is kind of against the grain for right there. Fantastic grip on the handle. This uh, Adam's apple area on me can sure get inflamed. You ever try that? Get enough lather on the underside of your blade, kind of push it up that way, and now you can hit it again. See how that feels. All right, let's compare. I did both with the cross grain, so I don't guess there's a reason to compare. Take a look at the Yeah, got some of those hairs on that second pass. My face is on this side does not feel irritated from that first one. Uh, but I'm pretty confident if I would have kept going with a uh, with that lower angle instead of that, um, that I would end up with a lot of irritation just like Michael did. All right, third pass. <laughs> There we go. This may need to be uh, my forum profile photo, right? All this stuff hanging off my face. Looking like some kind of Doctor Who alien, low budget, 2000, I'm sorry, 1976 uh, Doctor Who low budget alien watching some of those older episodes enjoying them for the most part okay third pass third pass to me is much less about the cheeks because those are pretty much done I could have just not even put any cream on those the uh, but it's about the the neck and hopefully getting into a good place But I can also use this as a chance to revisit and see. How it feels. Open comb. So I can definitely confirm about the fact that uh, open combs always being more aggressive. This is that's a myth. 
Um, it's just going to depend on the razor, just like every other razor, just like a clothes comb. Um, because as long as I have it at an angle or something like that, what you've seen me do just now, it's not. It's not aggressive. All right. Strategy now. Touch up. Um, with the neck, um, my hair is kind of come down toward this spot here. Down here it goes forward a bit and then comes toward that spot. So I'm going to do more cross grain work here. But this time from the bottom when I come to this area, got to remember to hold that handle out. Okay, let's see. Do a little rinse before I get in no man's land here where I can stir up some razor burn very easily. No irritation at all with that. Wow. Keep on going here. Got to remember to switch directions a little bit right there. I like short strokes because it helps me to monitor my angle. If I were to do a long stroke, I don't worry to do it at the wrong angle. There's my little trick. I'll also pull the skin a little bit. Oh, I think I did it too much at the lower angle. I bet I've got some burn there now. That might have done it. Third pass. That might have done it. How about that? Let's check it out. There's a few there, right there, but I do see some razor burns, so I'm not going to chase those down. I do see a little bit of an inflammation there. I'm not going to worry about it. I've got so much lather, I feel like I ought to keep going. Um, like I said yesterday, this particular uh, cream doesn't really leave a lot of uh, slickness on your face after... Um, for, uh, Immediately after you have uh, pulled the blade across and you've removed the lather, you can go back a little bit immediately, but after that it, it doesn't feel like you can do that. It doesn't leave a lot of residual slickness on there after the immediate pass. Well, I gotta say, happy with the open comb. Do a little bit of rinsing. Keep me a good shape. Happy with the uh, happy with the open comb. I can smell the midnight stag. I could kind of smell it uh, as I was going if I paid attention to it. Treat that right. It might not turn into red inflamed skin. Uh, so, the myth about open combs being more aggressive is false. It is, it all depends on the razor. 
that. Um, as to the skin feeling more lubricated as I was shaving because of the open comb and the cream. I don't know. I don't know if I'd... The difference may be negligible. With my um, DE89 um, Jagger razor, that has kind of a sharp safety bar on it, and so I do feel like I'm really scraping away um, at that lather before my blade hits hits the skin area that the lather's covering, um, uh, because it's really kind of a sharp. Whereas this one, it's got more curve to it. Um, now with the 89, maybe I should shave a little bit more with it out into this area, sweet spot up here instead of like this. Uh, maybe that would feel a little bit better. But um, yeah, thinking about this, um, I'd say it was pretty smooth. As long as you kept the angle out. Yeah, as long as you were careful about doing that. Then, you know, as you saw, I didn't get nicked. I went all sorts of angles in this loose area down here, no nick at all. Didn't even feel at risk for a nick. Second use, pretty sharp blade. Um, so I could have gotten nicked if I maybe have wanted to. Um, nice. Nice, go for it. Um, you know, it actually, it did feel it did feel more lubricative as I was as I was kind of doing my short strokes in certain areas. Um, it did feel like I wasn't taking the cream away, and I believe you could probably see that in the video a little bit more of the cream stayed on my face. Um, so I think it's doing its doing its job there. I'm pretty sure if I would have had a something that thick, it would have been a, a good razor to handle that as well. So I'm feeling good. Um, I like the midnight stag. Even though I'm not really much of a, I do stay up late, and so in that sense, I might be a midnight stag, but I'm probably more of a, a midnight grizzly bear or something like that. More likely to be in my, in my cave sleeping than out being a stag, right? So uh, happy with that. I have some Sherlock that I'm going to try tomorrow night, I believe. Looking forward to that. And I don't think there's any much more, uh, much more to share with you. So second use on that Rapira blade. Um, as to those posts, whether the uh, by the Rapira, I'm happy with it. You know, in that third pass, I knew that this was probably going to be a touch-up area, and so I went ahead and put a little more cream on there and, and kept going at it. So I'd say it's still in that, it's in that very sharp category with, with just a lot of good blades in that category. Um, so I'm, I'm happy with that. Am I going to go out and order a hundred of them right now? I don't think so. I've got a lot of personas uh, that I got. Um, so I, I don't think so. And the repairs weren't really, uh, for me, they don't seem to be a good value because they weren't super cheap. If they were super cheap, I could, I could maybe put them on my list because it does give you a respectable, good shave. But I'm almost certain that there are, uh, there's a hundred pack of blades out there that's um, three or four dollars less uh, that will give me just as good shave. Um, so maybe even five dollars less to make them really, really cheap. As for longevity, I don't know about that yet because this is just my second shave with them. Um, so... There you go. It's the information I have for now. Thanks for listening.